Hello darlings. This is Imaginal Realms with myself, Valentine Lovecraft Falcon. Just burning a little copal in honor of today's guest and speaker, Datura. I believe actually the name of this particular uh, tree is Brumontia, but we're just going to refer to them as Datura today. So I always have a little glass of water that I've put at the base of the plant or flower. It's kind of an informal flower essence and just in training myself to the energetics because water is so receptive and so sentient. I'm going to take a little sip and then we'll begin. Okay. So today's shamanic imaginal journey, as I said, is with Datura. And the intention is what do you not know that you would like all of us who listen to be aware of or to know about you? So what do we not know that could serve our paths and our highest expression of self moving forward. So I'm going to uh, get into my zone and then we will begin. Always dropping into my heart and letting the rest of me dissolve my mind, the chatter, the entire world around dissolve and only coming and journeying from my heart center. So I am turning right as I enter what looks like the flute of this flower because it's it's like the walls and the ceiling and the floor are all this kind of sherbet-y orange <laughs> coloring, but it's illuminated from the outside. So I'm walking through it, but as opposed to walking straight forward, I'm going to the right. And now I've entered this kind of opening and it definitely feels like the entryway into let's see like this you know the entryway into this part of the flower but here it looks green and in the dimension I'm in it's actually black and I'm stepping out into starry space. I don't know if any of you have ever seen those Hubble uh, space photographs, but it really looks like that kind of photograph where it's like just almost stepping into a complete field of shimmery, sparkling stars and kind of cloud-like uh, formations that are glowing and <clears throat> and it's not just like when you look up to the sky and you see you know a couple stars here and there or even the galaxy of stars it's like really just walking into a field of everything is shimmering and this kind of gas I don't know what you would call it maybe this kind of colored also matching this color, it's kind of cantaloupe, sherbet, orange, uh, hovering cloud is kind of making a shape like a step. And it's sort of, you know, if you can imagine smoke pouring down over something um, like dry ice or something, you know, when it pours out, over the, out of the punch bowl onto the table and down. Um, that's kind of what it looks like, but it's it's very colorful and has a pretty strong 
formation to it. And these sort of steps are forming in front of me and I'm stepping on the first one. As I look down or my attention is being drawn down, I can see that my, uh, my feet have sort of woven sandals on them, which they of course do not in real life. Uh, and I'm putting my, and it almost, they almost look masculine, my feet. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, actually I'm seeing these big leaves on the ground and it almost looks like wood chips or something, really dark, wet wood chips. And it looks like, almost like there's jungle all around. And I'm walking and I can see that I'm wearing, I wanna say white Sherpa pants. And it feels like I'm carrying a stick over my right shoulder. I feel very much that I'm in masculine form. That's what I'm being shown. So I'm in this masculine form holding a stick, it has weight to it. It has, a, uh, the sense I have is that it's a white cloth tied on this stick, kind of represented in maybe old school 1930s or 40s, like hobo style, you know? Um, but I don't feel that I'm uh, transient or wander or anything of this sort. It feels that I'm an assistant to somebody and that I'm carrying, I think, Datura, I think. And actually there's a book written by a man, I, I will share it uh, and in, in the following slides after this journey. Uh, and he wrote a book called The Toei Diaries and Toei being Datura. So I'm really getting a sense that this might be the uh, environment that it, it is being shown. And it, again, the, the sense is that this white bag on the stick has a bunch of leaves in it, big leaves. I mean, as I look, I'm like, okay, leaves, big leaves. Uh, they, they actually don't totally look like these. They look kind of rounder and they seem almost a little wet. And then the, what's in that, this sack is big white, like massive trumpet flowers. So yeah, it feels very much that, that Toei medicine. And I'm just gonna put my jacket on, it's getting pretty chilly out here. And so we're trudging up this little hillside want you to be able to see the flowers. We're trudging up this hillside and the ground feels kind of slippery. Uh, and turning the corner and there is, there's like this little, I don't know if hut's the right word, but there is this kind of small cabiny, <laughs> cabin esque cabin esque um, place and the person that I'm assisting is sort of pointing me over to you know set these things down on the kind of little porch of this I guess it is like a cabin hut because it kind of has this framework in front and then there's a doorway and it in the the logs or whatever it is that's built the structure does have some kind of filler in between them to it, uh, it, it looks almost like a, like a little log cabin or something, a tiny home log cabin. But it's definitely in this jungly kind of atmosphere. And I could even see this <laughs> massive snake coming down and sort of, you know, it, I can see the curl. Let's see, it's like, it goes like this and the snake is coming down and then its head is kind of coming this way. And then and that's kind of in the back to the right and in this hut so the the plants the flowers and these leaves are on the front porch and the square is uh predominantly taking up this first the front step 
and these flowers are there they almost look lavender white and then there's these leaves and the medicine person the shaman uh is sort of telling this his student or i guess it I'm sort of embodying it so the student or the assistant but now it feels like I'm watching that person that I just was explaining myself to be now outside of me and I'm more an observer of this scene and he's like mentioning these um I think there's seeds inside of the plant it looks like there's these seeds and it's like four seeds and he the assistant the student is gathering these seeds and the person that's going to I guess participate in this ceremony is stepping up and going into the space and the door is just open it doesn't feel like it closes and the student assistant is coming in with the four seeds and they're you know um, smoking them and all this kind of stuff seems like there's some root involved in this too like I'm seeing a root so seeds root um, obviously the leaves have some part in, of it some part in it as well and so these things are you know being taken into the cabin and I just see this man kind of huddled over and uh, it seems like the person that's about to participate and he he's huddled over and also the feeling is that he might have some kind of drug or alcohol uh, um, addiction or problem really in in his ruins is the feeling that he's very much in his ruins and yeah he's like mumbling and kind of foaming and just um you know the feeling is is maybe he's already had some of some of this um i think that he i don't know let's see here okay the message saying he has not had anything yet this is just the state he's in and so what's given to him is this one seed and I mean I have no idea how um, Toei or Detour is administered but the what it looks like is that he's actually two seeds and it looks like he's smoke, smoking it with this other kind of uh, blend and you know this is not <laughs> do not try this at home adults children loved ones um, these are journeys to share what these plants or flowers want us to um, know, but that doesn't mean uh, these are instructions as to what to do. <laughs> Not at all. So this person is smoking two seeds, and and he is is just like you know the guy that's taking it in is just shaking and kind of uh having like spasms and he's he's having to actually purge um he's really going through it and you know the student the assistant and the the medicine person the shaman is like you know putting blowing smoke and and singing and well chanting over him um, the shaman is not the assistant, but the assistant's just kind of st sitting to the right of this man who's just, you know, completely in having a fit. Uh, on, on my own personal research, I do know that this medicine can, in the wrong hands, make a person literally lose their mind. So note that. But, but this feels like this, this person maybe even had some kind of, um, <laughs> demonic I'm not laughing but like it's just kind of dramatic to say demonic possession you know this is this who's being administered this medicine it's like a, it's like a last resort essentially and yeah it's like they yeah I mean that's what's being shown is that there's this black <laughs> demon, uh, demonic 
entity being extracted from this this poor man and the you know it's it's showing like the spirit of this plant coming into the room and like sucking this black demonic spirit out of that man and like through its tube wow that is really cool um and it's like sucking it and sucking it and sucking it and then it kind of gulps it and it's saying drives the evil spirits in the same way it now it's now the the uh, plant is speaking and so I'm actually sitting down kind of in front of this scene. It, I know it's a little abstract to imagine because it's like they, these people don't notice me, but I'm here and the plant is talking to me, this plant, but in this sort of jungle-esque scene. And it is actually white flowers. And it's saying, I drive away and depossess and yet simultaneously that edge of the blade of possession and depossession madness and madly conscious sick and detoxifying joyous and oblivious i assist those walking the edge, bleeding as their feet walk the razor's edge, to decide which side they want to partake in. In deciding the scission, the incision of the razor's edge becomes a noble attribute for the courageous planto knot, <laughs> the ones who suffer and sage and gain wisdom at the derision, something like derusion, D-E-R-U-S-I-O-N, of all. The one who is like the astronaut, but goes into our domain, the plantonauts. And it said, not plant donuts, plant o -nots. The adventures that traverse dimensions where most would go mad and yet if you can sustain the stain of pain that is often required in surpassing fields of density that are fear, confusion, sadness, self-reception, self-deception, self-flagulation, self-abuse. If you can cross those rivers of density on behalf of expansion and holding a greater knowledge base, wisdom base, expanded consciousness, you can service, give, and receive so much more than most humans could ever perceive or comprehend. Often people think the only way 
to radical, unbridled. And it's like showing this almost like tornado or hurricane storm or now it's spelling it backwards. M O wait. M I can't do it. M R O T S. M R O T S. Mortz. <laughs> if you can ride the ring of the hurricane, if you can adventure beyond only perceiving the greatest love and gift of heart expansion of creating another human, if you can perceive that as most know, quote unquote, know on an intellectual level, all things are created from love, to work with the Toei, the Dutura, the Brumantia, the angel's trumpet, is to divine the fine line between genius and madness and be the alchemist that holds both like two electrical currents and puts those currents together and the stream of power gives the experience of holy love. You, friends, family, nature, familia, you do not need to walk into the cavern on the painful edge of the razor between extremist dualities in order to feel this holy radical threshold that sends you in like soaring cliff divers into the sea. You do not need to be like this so severe only if one is called to walk into the cavern of wisdom we offer only those rare souls is the capacity to partake in this exploration but to all you whom we are directly speaking to, to make the flower essence waters, to sit and be in our presence, to grow one of us from seed to trees. <laughs> There's kind of these little uh, ways that they sort of speak. Seed to trees. <laughs> This will be a guardianship, a relationship, where in your dreams, in your heart field, we will push you. We will push you into one side and the other, and you will feel the severities at times that crack open minds souls, hearts, all things sometimes must break. The Fabergé egg broken makes the Russian treasure inside a sight of emerald realizations, artistry, from the gods and heavens. Creator awakens when we assist you to get sharp, to get hot, H-A-U-T, to walk fine lines, 
and break yourself, shatter the illusions, the veils, escort yourself into iterations of self-exploration that spirals you like a whirling tornado up into the heavens, sends <laughs> dandelion flowers wishing all over the entire planet through your winds. Your smokes blow across the cheeks of beautiful women and men and all those incredible humans of their unique beingness, theyness, theirness, usness, weeness, you-ness, I-ness, she-ness, he-ness. The winds blow and messages are sent. The winds of your soul bluster and the prayers are sent. The dandelion flowers, our pollen, our presence, our color rings surround you. You are a ring. You are a ring of fire. We present the ring of fire and as you go through it, you become dire. You become fire. You become glory. You become golden. You become the treasure that is inside the Fabergé egg of the royalty in your Akashic records, in your holy chambers of endless, infinite information that resides in masters, loved ones, ancestors, <laughs> Arcturians, Pleiadians, Stardust, Syrians, all those who you souls resonate with, they await you, they assist you, and we, Datura, awaken you to everything that is beyond the veil that you see in the mirror as who you think you are. You are so much more, dear souls, and we assist you in this journey. I hope. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I'm gonna have a little sip of their their uh, infused power. That was amazing. Okay. <sighs> Thank you so much for partaking in the journey with Detura today. I'm gonna leave them a little mapacho, which I've mentioned before is available in Born Free Natural Mystic Botanica. And if you are interested in an Imaginal Realms Oracle Medicine session, where these, <laughs> these portals that they speak of to experience your more unveiled and fully dimensional self and those who dwell in those dimensions. If you're interested in what these dimensions have to say and how they want to support you and bring you to your next iteration with so much love and beauty, then you can check out my website. If you are enjoying this channel and these journeys, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much. I love you until we meet again in the realms. Ah